Welcome to at another edition of reading of the Proverbs. I am reading Psalm. Um, sorry, I am reading Proverbs chapter seven. Proverbs, as you know, is written by Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. Chapter seven. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them unto thy fingers. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, Thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flattereth with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my casement, and behold, among the simple ones I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went to the way, the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot. and subtle of heart she is loud and stubborn her feet abide not in her house now is she without and now she in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner so she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face said unto him i have peace offerings with me this day have i paid my vows therefore came i forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face and i have found thee i have decked my bed with the coverings of tapestry with carved works with fine linen of egypt I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take a fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home; he is gone a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and will come home at the day appointed. With her, much fair speech, speech she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straight away, as an ox goeth to slaughter. Slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird hastens to the snare, and knoweth not that it is take it is for his life. Hearken unto me, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the ways of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house. Her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death